Hi, my name's Kathy. I'm a librarian at the Hamilton East Public Library and I'm also a master gardener in Hamilton County. One of the questions that I get quite frequently from people is, can I reuse my potting soil from last year? Yes, you can reuse your potting soil from last year. But people want to know how they do that and what they should do to make it really work as well this year as it did last year. So the thing about soil is that soil is alive or soil should be alive. Um, in a lot of massive farms where they fertilize and they put weed killer and all of that stuff happens, that soil's not really alive. It grows things, but it doesn't have the organism, the bacteria and the funguses that we really want to see in soil the way it was before we started messing around with it. So when you buy potting soil, you can buy regular potting soil or you can buy some potting soil that's, you know, organic, that sort of a thing, right? But after you've used it for a year and you've taken all of the nutrients out of it, you need to refresh it in some way if you're going to use it again. So what I normally do is I take out the stuff that's in my pot and I dump it in here. Now, and you can mix it if you don't have a wheelbarrow, that's okay. You can mix it in a larger pot or you can just do it within the pot. But what I want to do is add some actual organic material into this. Think of it like this this way. If you ate nothing but junk food, you would still be alive, right? But if you eat, you know, carrots and and I can't think of anything else healthy other than carrots, but if you think lots of healthy wonderful food rather than just Twinkies and Apple Jacks, that sort of stuff, you're going to be healthier. The same is true of your plants. Now, if you're going to be eating these things, then you really want to have healthy, nutritious soil so that the plant is absorbing that. And then when you eat it, you're absorbing all that healthy wonderfulness, right? So I could just take this soil and add nothing but this. This is actually in a milk carton, but it's a slow release fertilizer. So I could just, you know, take a handful of that. There are directions on the container, throw it in there. And then that's all I need to do to feed my soil. But if I want to bring it back to life, then I need to do more than that. Um, I can, uh, let me backtrack a little bit. I could add some, you know, some peat moss, something like that. That's really just going to fluff it up. That's not going to add bacteria. I could um, replace it with more soil, fresh soil, fresh potting soil, but that's going to cost money. I do make my own compost. I've got a compost bin in my yard and I could take and add some fresh, wonderful compost to my, um, to my potting soil. This is going to have wonderful um, bacteria and, and fungal elements and all sorts of things that the soil needs in order to come alive. So maybe you live in an apartment and you don't have a big compost bin um, that you can utilize. So you could buy something um, called um, earthworm casings. So this is a natural thing. This is essentially earthworm poop. Um, and you don't need a lot of it. Read the directions. But you can see how lovely and dark that is. And it's just full of microorganisms and things that are going to bring your soil to life. So I can put that in there, mix that around. Um, if I happen to have some other things like perlite or vermiculite, I could add that in. That's not actually adding microorganisms, but it is a, something that's going to help your soil to be fluffier and um, easier for the roots to grow through. So once you get that all mixed together, now it's been rejuvenated, you can put it back into your pot and then you'll be able to use that this year to plant something else. So don't throw out your soil, just replenish it and reuse it and you should have good results. Happy gardening to you.